Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac, if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to create designs with AI. AI is a very, very popular topic right now. People wanna know how to get into it, everyone wants to know how to use it, and how they can use it to benefit and actually help them with their productivity, save time, and do so much more. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to create designs to put on your print-on-demand products. And again, this is going to save you time, you're gonna be able to pump out designs way faster, and I'm gonna share with you the entire process. So if you do not know how AI works, essentially it is a artificial intelligence bot that you will insert prompts and tell it exactly what you're looking for and it will create an image for you. For this method, we are going to need an account on Creative Fabrica. We're gonna be using their feature called CF Spark, which has so many different benefits to it. You can do everything from creating designs, patterns, to coloring pages. Hello, if you are selling digital products, you can have AI create a coloring page for you. There's so many options here and we're just gonna be using the design tool to create some images, like I said, for our print-on-demand products. So my inspiration for this is I was looking on Etsy for different summertime aesthetics, summertime hoodies. What I came up with was sort of kawaii, summer-inspired, cute designs to put on tote bags, maybe mugs or tumblers, um, and even t-shirts you could do this with or sweatshirts. So that is the inspiration that I am going with. As you can see here, this is the homepage to Creative Fabrica. And right here under CF Spark is where we're gonna go to access this feature. And like I was mentioning before, they do have multiple different things that you can create with this, but we're gonna go ahead and select Create Art. Now on this page here, I have played around with this a little bit, um, so that's why you're seeing some prompts here, but this is where we're going to type out exactly what we would see. Now, if it is your very first time doing this, I recommend going over to the prompt book or prompt builder because that's gonna give you a few tips on how to really generate the images that you're looking for. Because when I first started this, I was getting things that had nothing to do with what I was actually trying to create because I didn't understand how to type my prompts out. So we're going to start really basic in this video too. Um, so like I said, I'm looking for cutesy kawaii inspired designs here. You can also change the size of your image depending on what you're creating. We're going to keep it um, as a square because we're just making um, an image for a design here. So I'm going to just type the word cat with a comma after it, and then I'm gonna select this kawaii option here. And we're just gonna hit ignite, and I'm gonna show you what it comes up with. I have done this a few times with the same types of prompts, and it gives me different things every time. So as we can see, this last three here is kind of the vibe that I'm looking for. I want more of a cutesy image rather than like a realistic image. Um, again, just depends on what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go with this one and select this create variations. What this does is it takes that image and creates multiple variations of that image. So as you can see here, this just created a bunch of different variations for this cat. Now I still like that original one that we saw here, but I do wanna show you one more example of how you can create like this. So again, heading back to the CF Spark here, I've typed the words kawaii cat. See how switching you know, one word around can change the aesthetic and vibe so much. And then if we were even to add in another word to this, so kawaii cat watercolor. And after we hit ignite, it literally takes just a few seconds to create different variations and designs. So I just really find this amazing. I find it so awesome that you can create things like this and just really do it until you get that exact image that you're looking for. Now, like I was mentioning with the prompt book here, this can definitely help out a lot. They have a few different things that you can copy and paste to get the hang of um, how exactly this works. So a few of these here, like let's copy one of these just to see what happens. We head back to the create, paste this in here. 
and see how cool these types of images are as well. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just keep going with this design. Once you have it to your liking and you want to download it, you're gonna go over to the publish button. Now, there are a few different options here. The regular publish button is going to let this publish to Creative Fabrica, so technically anyone is going to be able to use it. So that is something to keep in mind there. Now, depending on what Creative Fabrica membership you have, you can either publish the image and hide the prompt, or you can select a generate private download Download, which is just a straight download to your computer and you're not publishing it to the community on Creative Fabrica. Now I do have the all access subscription on Creative Fabrica, which is $29 a month. If you sign up using the link in the description, you will be able to receive a free trial of the all access pass on Creative Fabrica, which will then renew at only $9 a month for your first month. And after that, there's an even more extended discount for you. So I highly recommend grabbing it with this link in the description. It's a great deal. And again, it's linked for you below. So I'm going to go ahead and just publish this image. And once it is on my page here, all usage is allowed. So I'm going to download that. Now, once it's downloaded, I am going to have it available for myself as a PNG where I can then upload it into Canva and design further. If you've seen my videos before, you may already know that I always import my graphics, fonts, images, all of that from Creative Fabrica with a correct commercial or print on demand license, depending on what I'm using the product for. I import them into Canva to design and this just avoids any copyright issues that Canva may have with their elements and graphics. Now I do this with Photoshop as well. Same with Adobe Illustrator. However your design experience works, you can upload these images that you create in Creative Fabrica to any of your designing platforms, as long as they're downloaded to your computer but I am using Canva just to show you because this is an easy way to do it. So the first thing I'm doing is removing this background on a Canva Pro account. So I'm going to edit photo and background remover. But now that the background is removed in this image, it is ready to be put on a print on demand product and sold. Because we have that license, we didn't even have to design this ourselves. So it's really, really easy to do. Now you could go ahead and add some text here, again, making sure that we have the license on our fonts, um, or you can just upload this as is. So I'm gonna download this and show you what it would look like on a print on demand product that we can then list on our Shopify or Etsy store. Here is what our image would look like if we were to upload it onto a print on demand product. So as you can see, super cute. Um, and then this is what a preview would look like. So obviously you could add tags, you could get super creative with it but it's just a super fun and easy way to create designs, even if you are a beginner and using this feature on Creative Fabrica is very user-friendly and I highly recommend checking it out because as you can see, being able to create beautiful products like this for your print-on-demand store in just a few moments. We can even go a step further in our listing and grab some mock-ups to help our products really stand out on Etsy. And because we removed the background on that image, we can now just drag and drop that directly into a source like place it to really make this pop and use this photo to start selling on our Etsy shops. But as always, Creative Fabrica has tons of different designs that are already made for you. I will leave a video linked below for you if that interests you. Instead of using the AI, lots of different options here to create. So there's no excuses why you cannot start selling print on on demand products. I know designing can be really overwhelming, so I really hope this AI feature can help you. If you did like this video or you wanna see more like it, please leave a like and comment down below any questions you may have about how to use this or if you've tried this out, I wanna know if it is working for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.